What's up, Aquarius? All right, so look, as I was getting into you guys' energy space, there was this feeling that something amazing was about to happen, but of course, it's not going to happen the way that you expect. To help you further understand what it is that I'm trying to tell you, Aquarius, I mean for you to go with me on a mind trip. So you received a special invitation in the mail to make your way on down to the Dreamville Arena. Now when you get to the Dreamville Arena, you felt really, really special until you realized that there were hundreds of other people who received the same invitation. Now some of these people, you would expect for them to be there. But some of these other people, it's just like, dude, why are they here? How did they get an invitation? So. You go into the arena and the announcer begins to tell you guys why you're here. The announcer says, you guys, you guys have been specially handpicked hand to, to go down, down to earth, earth and, and not, not only, only live, live your dream, dream, but, but fully, fully carry, carry out the out mission the of your, your life by purpose. purpose. So everyone is really, really excited because who doesn't want to go to earth and live out their dreams and live their life purpose? So the announcer tells you, you guys are going to go in order and everyone's like oh no it's gonna be a line look at all these people here one by one by one so the announcer began to call names he called name after name after painstaking name and you were still just sitting there wondering when would you get called as the line got longer and longer and longer now listen by this time some of those haters some of the people who really didn't belong there, they had got their names called and they were all standing in the line. But not only were they standing in the line, they were standing in the line laughing at you. So the announcer got down to the last three names. And wouldn't you know, you were called last. So you didn't really want to, you really didn't see the point, but you got up and you took your last place in line. The announcer said, well then, well, then now, now that everyone that is lined, lined up, up, we can we begin, begin to deploy, deploy you, you to, to earth. earth. You guys heard the sound of these huge steel doors opening and everyone is looking in front of them with anticipation, but they don't see anything. The announcer said, the doors are behind you. We want you to stay in exactly the position that you're in. Just turn around. And as you turned around, you went from last place to first place. And the people behind you, who were once in first place, or at least further ahead in line, they were now behind you. And that's when the announcer gave you guys one final twist. The last, the last in, line in line is going to, going be, the to be the first, first out. 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 See you later, later. Well, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. You do say that, right? So, I mean, you being able to kind of get this, I would say visual, but we didn't go anywhere, but get this kind of mind trip to walk you down this lane to see just how quickly things can turn around, okay? Sometimes you may walk through your life and you may feel like you're behind, like you're the last of the Mohicans. You're the last in your family. You're the last amongst your friends. But just that quickly, things can change and things can turn around. Not because something bad happens to them, but because something good may happen to you, okay? Um, when I was pursuing my dreams, I was the last of my family. You know, everyone around had good jobs and had been working 15, 20 years plus. You're talking about my generation, right? So it's like, man, I got to go 15 years of working just to catch up. But you never know where those little loopholes may happen. I love to call them cheat codes. When I used to get in my meditation and I used to vibe out, I used to ask for cheat codes. How can I accelerate and get past everybody in the blink of an eye without even trying. And little things started to come. And even though there were people in the line who appeared to be ahead of me, and even though there were haters in life who appeared to have it better than me or be further along than me, and they were in a position to laugh at me, you have to remember that sometimes those things switch so fast that nobody has time to be prepared, not even you. 
But once you realize that you're first, okay, remember, somebody about to be deployed to fulfill these missions, to be that first generational millionaire, to be the first one to do it in your family, to be the first one to do it amongst your friends, okay? And it seems as though at some point, or maybe even like now, you realize, listen, I'm first. Uh-oh, I'm in position, okay? What used to be so far away is right here, right now. And so a lot of you guys are being called not to understand that things are about to turn around, but to already be in that frame of mind of being first in line, okay? Because maybe some people out there, the reason we got this mind trip is because you're standing in the line and you think you're last. But little do you know, in just a short while, things are about to switch and turn around. And when they turn around, you're gonna have to be prepared to go. It's not just gonna be a turnaround and a breakthrough for you to sit there and sit still. No, your turnaround and your breakthrough is gonna be for you to get up and go first, okay? So start getting your plans together most importantly, get your mind set together. Prepare for your victory. I was telling a sign the other day, I watched Jeopardy, and there was a woman, she was prepared to lose. She was prepared to lose. She didn't want to answer no questions. When she did talk, she answered like a mouse. You could barely hear what she was saying. She was prepared to lose. But because the champion messed up, she accidentally won by $4. And she was terrified. Why? She wasn't prepared to win. She just wanted to go to say she did it. The very next day, you know the champion has to come back and play again. She was terrified. She did not want to be there. She was answering like a church mouse. And by the end of the game, she literally let, her prize was literally $6. She couldn't even barely answer any questions. She didn't want to answer questions. Meanwhile, the champion got like $23,000 that game. Why? What's the point? Well, she was prepared to lose. She was prepared to go home. But remember, some, sometimes it's not about you doing good. It's about somebody else messing up. Okay? It wasn't that you were so great in this mind trip. It was because they decided we go by the LIFO system. Last in, first out. That's an accounting term for those that don't know. We go by the LIFO system. Turn it around. So just like that, a lot of you guys' situation is about to change. So your entire point of this entire mind trip is to get you in the frame of mind. I don't care if you think you last. I don't care what position you think you're in, even if you think it's a bad position or the worst position. Get your mind right, because in a little bit, that thing is about to switch on around. And you don't want to be like our girl in Jeopardy, prepared to lose, or prepared for it to take forever, or prepared for it to be hard. Nope. You better get prepared for it to just happen suddenly. But when it does, you're there. I'm seeing the vision of uh, someone playing basketball. You ever seen someone with a chest pass? Like it's real quick. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, but if the person just stand there, pow, the ball will bounce straight off of you. It'll go straight past you. But them quick reflexes, you ready, pow. Why? Because you practice. Why? Because your mind was right. Why? Because you've done this before. Why? Because you've been here before. So some of you guys, pow, when that ball get passed to you, pow, your hand's going to be automatic. Okay, when that opportunity comes, pow, it's going to be automatic. You're going to automatically know what to do. Why? Because you already prepared for it. Okay? So that is what I get for you. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you're not one of my subscribers, I would love to have you as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you guys were in the top five for the most viewed videos for the Zodiac reading. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all for that. And this is the reason why you get the mind trips. So continue to watch those videos, share those videos so that we can continue to sit here and have these little meetings of greatness. You dig? So once again, so much light and love to you, Aquarius, and I'll see you guys in your next video.